I'm going to do the entire loading and firing. I'm going to be dry firing since no one's in my house today. I can get away with this. And I'm going to just do this whole process, show you what it looks like. To grab a burst disc from my entire pile of aluminum, I just use my finger and I touch it and usually it'll stick. And that's enough to pick it up gently. You can load them from the o-ring side, and I'll show you what that's like. It's pretty much the same, except it doesn't sit flat due to the o-ring. And when I do this, I first make sure that I get them attached, then I push down and lock it in place. Ball valve opens. Pump this up to 40 psi, then pressurize it to between 80 and 90. So this should be a loaded gun, assuming that the pressures are correct and I only have one burst disc in each union socket instead of two. If you have two, it's not going to fire and you might not even notice you have two in there because the discs are so thin. Right here. Fire in three, two, one. That made my ears hurt a lot. Which is why you don't dry fire indoors. So to clean this out, just take off the barrel, open this union socket. You can see the burst disc worked correctly. Of course it worked correctly, it just shot. And you can just peel this out. That's what a fired burst disc looks like, made out of aluminum. Open the other side. They tend to get stuck to the O-rings, but you just gotta pull them out. No big deal. that is the completed firing process of the double burst disc air gun.